सीजी टी टी एल्यूमिनी एसोसिएशन सीजी टी टी आई स्टूडेंट्स सीटी एम बी एस स्टूडेंट्स सर्टिफिकेट रेसिपियंस टूडे एंड पेरेंट्स एंड वेल्यूशियस एंड ऑल फ्रेंड ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सी जी टी टी आई एल्यूमिनी एसोसिएशन आई वोमली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू who are present at this occasion to grace this ceremony and today is a very special day for cgtti and the cgtti alumni association now this is the the first diploma batch which is uh receiving certificates today under city and gs course so let me uh remind you regarding this uh, happenings now in year 2007 we were able to the alumni association of uh, cgtti were able to register uh, the cgtti as a center to conduct courses for city and gs examinations and automotive engineering so after that we have conducted classes and four batches have been completed in the technician it's actually uh, the technician certificate level and this is the now uh, the second batch of diploma students technician diploma students are continuing their studies now if you take this course i will as we have a big audience with the uh trainees cgtt trainees advanced technician diploma qualification you are eligible to apply for the engineering council exam as the uh, diploma that is the graduate engineer status so what tells right and if you have seen the pre i mean uh, recent papers again now the cinec maritime campus now even last time uh, uh remember that uh, even in uh, earlier situation i have mentioned that there is a bridging course a degree course with unisa australia and it is still continuing the entry qualification even if you have the technician certificate level you can enter for the foundation level so that is given now this time they have advertised a degree program that is btech in uk they are straight away asking the entry qualification the technician diploma in city and gs so you can see now the avenues are open now our duty as what we thought as alumni association of cgtti to take you to this path with the others who ever come in following with us so now it's a great achievement it's a great time and so you can i mean without any hesitation you can continue with your studies further studies and you can be at the top and second to none with the practical backing which you are having so there are so many examples in this situation right i am not going to get too much of your time i mean talking these things but one more thing i have to say now uh, uh, the first thing i have to uh, now i'll take this opportunity to congratulate all the certificate recipients in year 2008 the technician levels and also the diploma and as i mentioned this is the first batch of diploma who is passing now and the highest marks or the best uh results is taken by one of cgtti students still a student we had so many we had so many pass out students certain pass out students and industry uh, i mean uh, working students and from industry the qualified students but then you can see with the correct guidance and the correct approach with hard work and dedication 
you can very easily reach this target. So my congratulations and I have to thank especially for the first diploma batch because they had the courage to enter into the technician level and take our work, the alumni association work and go forward with among lot of difficulties. Today you are reaping the benefits or the results you got from that. So thank you very much. And then uh, I will say now, even though we are running this with the, the panel of uh, dedicated lectures and all the supports given to students, but without the assistance and the support from the City Elgin's Sri Lankan chapter, the Sri Lankan office, uh, the customer support always, and again, without the support from the Skills International and the CGTTI, the German Training School, the, all the staff, and I'm not talking about individual, the institution, CGTTI, so we cannot reach this status today, which we have come up, come up to see. So my thanks to uh, all this, and uh, I have to mention, now uh, it will be mentioned in the, thank, uh, the word of thank, but I have to just mention these names. And what I would say to finish my speech, what I would say, now uh, we can take the horse to the water, but we can't feed the horse. It has to drink the water. The horse has to drink the water. So that everything, the part, everything is, we have cleared as the alumni association. We have registered the center and we have done it and we have come for diploma and we are going for the technician diploma next time. We are encouraging a lot of German trainees to take uh, take advantage of this opportunity and be at the top and being second to none. Right. So it is up to you to follow and take this clear path. Thank you very much. Addressed by Mr. Mumfti Haskin, whom I know since last 15 years, is the Chief Secretary of the City Angus Local Office. Please welcome. The president of the alumni of the CGCI Association, other distinguished invitees, academic staff, members of your association, to the successful candidates who have completed their certificate level and the diploma. Mr. Saratame Singh gave a very elaborate speech about the benefits of this uh, program. I think he is he's correct because not that I am telling because I am coming from Stangles, even myself, Stangles, telecommunication engineering, then I shifted to marketing. But the our days when we were out of the school, unlike today, CGTTI qualification is a well recognized not only here, even overseas, but we didn't have to go for a higher level in the higher education. This opportunity has given you a bigger vista for you because you start here as a technician, learning never stop. Learning never stop because at any stage of our life, we must continue to enhance our knowledge and the skill because the technology is far beyond us. Technology is because even the automobile engineering it is highly advanced than perhaps 10 years ago or 20 years ago. It's completely different scenario. So that means you cannot stop learning. You cannot stop enhancing your knowledge. You cannot stop enhancing your competences. This has to continue to grow. 
And talking about city and guilds, city and guilds is a, a royal charter organization, okay, started in 1878. The year we started, city and guilds had issued 202 certificates. And our database shows last year we have surplus 2 million certificates in one year. And it is continuing to grow. And so as in Sri Lanka, there are many stories that when Sri Lanka, City Angels came into Sri Lanka, some say when they started the Ceylon Technical College in 18, late uh, 19th century, even that time City Angels had been there. Or some say it's 40s, whatever it is. But the last seven years, it has grown 24. It has grown 24. Because we have over 6,000 students taking City Angels exams in the various fields. And most of them are not in the country, most of them are gone abroad. There are two sides to it. We have a brain drain by this. People are educating and going, but people are going to the Gulf. Most of them, they come back with the new experience, new knowledge, new skills, which is definitely helping the economy. In the meantime, it is given different vistas, different opportunities for the candidates or students or the employees to get new opportunities. We have different fields. We earlier in City and Gales, about years back, even though we had the motor, engine, motor mechanical engineering as well in Sri Lanka, but it was predominantly known for electronic and telecommunication engineering. And myself had done telecommunication engineering. But now, currently, we offer more than 30 different programs. Actually, City and Gales got over 800 different training programs. In the UK, we are the number one awarding body, and City Angle is not a private company. It's, a, it's registered in UK as a charity. So compared to some of the, even the British awarding bodies, perhaps, our examination fee is the lowest. So this has enabled many candidates to take City Angle's qualifications and to find new instance. And I'm sure the field you are in, there is definitely a demand any day. Because I know, because I travel to our head office in London often, in UK, a mechanic would charge 35 pounds. It's around 8,000 rupees per hour to fix a car. So it, he doesn't know how long it's going to take. So if you give you a car, if somebody takes to fix it for four hours, so he will go with 140 pounds and, the, and you have to pay for all your, all your replacing, replacements. So that is the potential in an automobile engineer. And even, even in the developed countries, the value of a craft competence certificate like, or technician level certificate is much higher because in my own experience, my cousin is living in Slav in London. He got a master's in uh, automobile engineering. He's a hobbyist and got sort of buying cars and making different things and selling and working as an engineer. But he said he got over 20 different city angles qualifications for different skill, different parts of the vehicle. He said, actually, he got the jobs for the city and real certificates, not for his masters. Your academic qualifications definitely will take you because your leadership skills, your managerial skills, your technical know-how, your theory knowledge, which is all important. But remember, the industry and the others require competent people to get their things fixed. But I don't say that you should be a mechanic throughout your life. There are, even in the automobile field, there are different, different opportunities. Because uh, I had an earlier Toyota, so I went to the Toyota Lanka to get my service. 
So when, I, when, when you go to Sri Lanka, so you are welcomed by a service advice. So he asked, sir, what's your problem, sir? I said, I want to get my car serviced. Then he asked me to sit down, he took down my details. So when he saw my office address, then he said, uh, you are from City Angels? I said, yes, I got my diploma in City Angels. So it is not actually you are sort of, it is important to learn your basics. But your knowledge and the skills are used to different, different jobs. Different jobs. And uh, another field where you know, most of some of our technicians are employed today is in insurance companies. Insurance loss adjusters. People come to the field and tell what to be done. So insurance companies are recruiting. So it is not only the set of, you know, the, the workshop mechanics are using the qualification. Because if you got the qualification, if you got the skill and the knowledge, which can be applied in the different jobs, in the different fields. Perhaps when I when I was out of the school, of course I had this idea of becoming an engineer. That was my dream, which I became. I never imagined that I would be working through promoting education as a business. But I really enjoy this job because I see thousands of thousands of young youngsters in Sri Lanka they are blossoming in the various fields whether it is automobile engineering whether it is construction engineering electronic electrical whether it is uh, uh, mechanical engineering or even it's a hairdresser or a beauty therapist or a hospital industry somebody so we in our office been able to support these thousands of students to, to blossom their futures. I am sure whoever have got qualified, not only with City Angels, even the CGTTI, your certificate here, you will have definitely a good future because these are areas evergreen. So all the best for your future. Thank you very much. Item in the agenda is to address by Mr. Damesh Bevikrama, Chief Executive Officer, Skill International Office. Distinguished invitees, students of CGTTI, ladies and gentlemen, I have very little to say after uh, Mr. Mukti Hashim's speech. I have very little to add. Uh, but let me say a few things first conducting the examinations on behalf of city and kids. And uh, why I say we are privileged is because the CGTTI is one of the most reputed and recognized organizations, technical training organizations of this country. We all know students of this organization when they apply for jobs abroad in especially in places like Australia and New Zealand, a CGTTI qualification is almost like a passport. But I must place on record our appreciation of the Alumni Association's decision to offer City and Gills qualifications here, which would enhance and open new vistas, as Mr. Mukti Hashim said, to your students because it will not be not only be recognized in countries like Australia or New Zealand, but many other countries as well. Looking at your results, which uh, since we conducted the examinations for you all, I find that uh, all the certificate students, I think we have about 100% pass rate from the CGTTI. There's about a 60% pass rate amongst the diploma students. So there is room for improvement. Uh, but that is the way you start. In fact, Mr. Sarat uh, Abhay Singh has said that this is the first time you all did the diploma program. In fact, when Skills International itself started doing their diploma programs, that was the case. But we went on improving because as you go on, you realize what the depth of this program is, how much of lecture hours you need, and all the information you will get to know by actually doing. 
At the same time, let me also mention another factor that we have introduced, which I would recommend to your institute as well, is to include a component on technical English in your programs, very specially English that is uh, relevant to the subject area that you all are dealing with. I mean, if it is motor vehicle engineering, you can structure a course which is more on technical English connected to automobile engineering. And it will be quite useful because when you come to the diploma stage, there are written, it's a written paper. You have to answer questions. When you, when you are asked to describe something, you should know to what extent you should describe. When you are asked to explain, it's a different uh, uh, response that they require from you. When they ask you to list down, it's another response. So these things you will get to know if you add in a component of technical English into your program. And I would very, uh, I would recommend that uh, to the CGTTI and the Alumni Association to take up in the future. And I was also happy to realize uh, that you all are going to start the advanced diploma, which uh, would open further new vistas uh, in uh, getting your students directly uh, to enter the diploma, graduate diploma of the engineering council examination so that you all are actually creating a path for professional education in this country as well. May I also suggest uh, as my passing remarks that uh, uh, you have a fantastic infrastructure here very specially to offer even some of the other programs of city and kids very specially uh, I'm sure the mechanical engineering area and uh, refrigeration and air conditioning. I'm mentioning these two areas especially because there's a wide demand for this uh, globally very specially if you take refrigeration and air conditioning in the Middle East and in many countries you get a very uh, humongous demand for uh, those programs. So I leave those thoughts with you and uh, this is the evening of the people who have graduated, who are successful here. So let me congratulate you and wish you all the best. And taking a cue from the quotation that Mr. Sarata Basin used about taking a horse to water, uh, let me also add to say that you must always have a dream and work towards a dream. Because as Martin Luther King said, without a dream, a dream won't come true. So always have a dream in your mind that I'm going to be this, I'm going to be an engineer, I'm going to be a, a chartered engineer and have that as your target. Targets are important because it's if you have a target only, you will achieve. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Davish Abhik Kumar, CEO, Skill Standard of Peace, who gave, a, who gave a nice message that the trainees who study or train in CGTTI are like youngsters who are having the passports for the for migration purposes. So the improvement of uh, CGTTI and City Angels uh, courses also he has mentioned about about 60 percent. So these are the new thoughts, thoughts to think for the young generation. So, so the next item is in agenda to address by our chief guest, my colleague. We have worked together, we have started our career in 1973 at CTB Depot, uh, Candy South. Mr. Kavni Manchanayan, I welcome you to address. Having listened to two important speeches, my speech won't be a lengthy one. Uh, Honorable President, Mr. Sarat Abhay Singh of uh, CDJ Alumni, Secretary, and other, other officials of CDJ Alumni, the Chief Executive Officer of City and Guild Sri Lanka Office, Mr. Musti Hazim, 
the Chief Executive Officer of Skills International Sri Lanka, Mr. Ganesh Abevi Prama, and the consultant, uh, Mr. Veer Singh. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to be present this evening and to participate as a chief guest at the City and Gills Second Certificate Award Ceremony organized by the CGT Almanai Association to award certificates to successful candidates at the City and Gills Technician and Diploma Examination held recently. I wish to express my sincere thanks to the President uh, the secretary and the other officials of OBA, the chief executive officers of the City and Guilds, <laughs> Sri Lanka office, and the chief executive officer of International Skills and his staff, and the certificate recipients, parents, and well wishers who are present at this evening for this function. Uh, the CGT All Boys Association, along with the officials of City and Guilds of Sri Lanka Office and Skills International Organization, are conducting training courses for the benefit of CGTI trainees, especially for CGTI trainees and passed out CGTI trainees and for outside candidates. This is the second year the OBA is conducting its award ceremony at the CGTTI. Last year, the OBA successfully conducted the City and Guild Technician Certificate course. The results obtained by the candidates who set these examinations were of very high standard, which was uh, approved uh, by uh, our uh, Chief Executive of Steve Stanchel, Mr. Ganesh uh, Abhay Kramas address. Uh, based on the result of this examination, arrangements were made to conduct the diploma course. Uh, I am indeed very happy to happy at the progress achieved during a very short period of time. Plans are underway to conduct an advanced diploma course in the near future. Uh, th that was evident from the OBA president's speech. Uh, I'm also, I am very happy to state that CDTI OBA has realized the present day need of an English education to CDTI trainees. A good knowledge of English is very important because most of these trainees find employment in Western countries such as Australia, New Zealand and also United Arab Emirates, uh, where standards of English is very high. Good working knowledge of English is very essential for these trainees to progress in their workplace. Therefore, it is very timely that the OB has planned to set up English training courses for our trainees to improve this, uh, their standard in English. As uh, uh, Mr. Ganesh Abhishekrana <coughs> said, the technical English uh, for automobile engineering field uh, it's very vital and uh, I think uh, we have to uh, think about this and we have correctly, uh, rightly uh, recognized this need and I think uh, uh, with their assistance also uh, we can uh, enhance uh, the knowledge of our trainees uh, with uh, existing programs. I thank the organizers of our ceremony for making this event a great success. Also offer my special thanks and congratulations to all trainees who set the examination and successfully completed their training, thereby maintaining a high standard in the technical education of CGTI. Uh, having said these few words, I'm going to conclude my uh, speech. Anyway, as uh, most of the uh, speakers uh, mentioned, uh, not like other days, there are a lot of avenues and a uh, lot of opportunities for our, especially CGTI students, passed out students, uh, to, uh, I mean, uh, to, uh, to become 
to not end up as technicians in their lives, they can have a lot of uh, opportunities now to uh, elevate in, in their position. And there are a lot of successful stories uh, from our institution alone. And uh, I think there may be several cases uh, why, uh, once, uh, since we have already started this uh, city and this program. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. D. E. M. Menarik Pidian. Thank you. Mr. L. Dinesh Vijayasinghe. Mr. W. K. Udayagana. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh Jai Kramar. D.A.D. Premadasa, former Registrar of CDDDI, to hand on the certificates. Mr. Mangala Pasun. of the Alumni Association. First of all, I think today's event nicely organized and everything was okay. Mr. Abhi Vikrama or Mr. Hasim was mentioning about some learning. When I was, uh, when I was in Germany, in 1970, 70s, as a recipient of a scholarship called uh, scholarships, uh, I came to know the meaning of learning. The learning is a continuous change of a behavioral process of a person of a group. So today, the recipient of the city and certificates, the, all the members, I think they are now uh, enjoying this result of learning. The learning is comprising of three areas. As I have learned, you have an aspect of cognitive side of learning that is the learning by your brain and there is another aspect of learning called socio social effective learning so, uh, certain uh, attitudes those other things now with these three areas will become a perfect person. 
you can apply it to anybody. You can apply these three aspects. Without the aspects, you can be a perfect person. Now, we continue to learn, as he nicely pointed out, uh, if I want to say something about the CGTTI, now our final goal of our institute to become the leading technical institute of Southeast Asia, South Asia. Therefore, to achieve these ends, there is up to the outgoing students and the present staff to change these attitudes and to achieve these ends. Then we come to the role of OBA. Couple of years ago, we have mooted this idea that we have to come to these international uh, examinations and to step into the educational field by the alumni association. Now we, after two, three years time, now we have come to that position. Those days, our activities of the OBA was limited uh, to enjoy a couple of tamashas at the end of the year. Unlike in other OBAs, now we have changed our attitudes, our learning process. So we have come to the educational uh, sector and we are conducting family get-togethers and we are conducting seminars every three months. So we have, we have improved a lot. As the other gentleman nicely pointed out, we have other avenues to open, not only in motor vehicle engineering, we have all the resources in our institute. Take the welding section, take the uh, uh, tool machinery section, the millwright section. When you put all these three sections together, we can nicely formulate for another course study in mechanical engineering and also in the reproduction sector. Also, as the uh, OBA, our role, our profession, our professional life is not a better process. We have obstacles to overcome. Professionally and socially, we have a lot of other problems to overcome. Now, if I, I want to cite one example, now, most of our old members, they have the license to issue road wellness test certificates. Now see, this has become a, you see, uh, like a job today. Now there are so many, so much of malpractices. Now, I am a holder of a uh, licensing authority and we cannot do our job today. Let me start my uh, proposed vote of thanks. Uh, uh, Director Mr. Machanayaka and Deputy Director Mr. Karmaratma for their whole support for organizing this event and then allowing these premises for us and giving all the moral support. The C CEO of Skill International Private Limited and the country director of City and Gates chapter in Sri Lanka for their presence here today. And also Mr. Somadas Rishra of the Institute for giving all the coordinated effort to this event. And also, I would like to see our former teachers. In fact, like Mr. Senegal, Mr. Obikar, Mr. D. D. Premadas, and the, and the other, other teachers. I think I have learned a lot of things from these teachers. And it is my great pleasure to see all your faces today. I thank you very much for your presence here today. And last, but not least, 
I would like to thank the staff of the basic section and the elect section who did the yeoman service of arranging this whole or the little system tonight to make this event a very success. I thank you everybody. Good night.